guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the Single Ladies and My Man Mad project pan that I'm doing with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram. I'm so excited for this update. Oh my god, I have been waiting for so long to hit pan on these two shadows. If you follow along my series, you definitely know which two shadows that I have been working on for so long and try to hit pan on. And the day is here. The day is finally here and... I'm so excited to share my progress with you guys. In the beginning of last year, in 2019, January, we started this project and we chose a matte palette and four single ladies, four single shadows to work on so we can kind of pair them together and use stuff up and stuff like that. Last year, I focused the whole year on my Morphe 35OM palette and I hit quite a bit of pan on that palette and... I decided for 2020 I wanted to switch that out for another palette and try to pan on that one. I knew it was ambitious to work on the Morphe palette, but I really wanted to get to get some use out of that one because I have had it for so long. So the one that I chose to switch out to was my W7 Major Matte Natural Matte Eye Color Collection. And this is how it is looking like. It is thin packaging, so I hate it. <laughs> I have thought about departing this. I don't think it will be that hard, just because I don't like the packaging at all. There's 10 grams in this palette, so I don't think it will be that hard and it is quite bulky and stuff like that. I just don't like the packaging. I have not used this every single time I have done my makeup, just because I am doing Panda palette with some matte shadows as well. Not the best decision on my part, because they were neutral. Neutral. But I wanted to switch it out and have fun with another palette, so it became this one. Let me show you where I was last time compared to now. This is where I am now. No new pants. The shades that I have been using the most is these two down here, the warm tones. Wonder why. <laughs> I'm a big fan of uh, warm tones and I'm panning cool tones. And to pan on another shadow in this project, I really wanted to work on the warm tones. Wonder why. So today I have these two in my outer corner. So it is kind of warm tone at the same time it's cool tone. So I get the best of both worlds. There are some wear in these two right here. I have used this one as well in my crease, but it is looking a lot like. A single that I'm working on Panda palette. Not much progress in this palette, but. I am enjoying it, but I can for sure tell it is a different formula than the Morphe one and the ones that I'm working on in my Panda palette. So it's kind of difficult to make them all work together. <laughs> Let me show you the two single ladies that I hit pan on for this update and I'm going to switch them out with some other sequels. I tried to hit pan on the singles that I brought into this project and then rolled them out whenever I did get some use out of my collection basically. The status is now that I have almost pan in all my singles. Only a few. Felix is here. Oh my god. The first single that I hit pan on for this project is Sad of Olives from Colored Rain. I'm so excited about this. It has a Good dip in it and good pan. Excited. The other one that I have pan on is Anarchy from Makeup Geek. Look at that shiny pan. I'm so excited about this. So now I have pan in all of my three Makeup Geek shadows, which was a goal when I started working on them because I have had them for quite some time now. This is not my favorite. No. It is very, very beautiful, but my favorite is definitely Cosmopolitan that I have had in here before. It's beautiful. I 
right hand pan on those two shadows, so that means I am going to roll two new ones in. And the first one is a Colourpop Super Shock shadow. I'm really excited about this. And maybe I am more excited that than I actually should be, but I have never really tried a Super Shock shadow. I have used this two times or something since Rebecca sent this to me last year, last summer, because she kindly sent it my now holy grail primer that I can't get. <laughs> we talked about Colourpop and I have never tried it because I'm I'm cheap and I don't want to pay customs for ordering from Colourpop. So she sent two ones to me. The under one broke on the way. I have not fixed that yet. Let me know how you can easily fix a broken Colourpop shadow. This one is called Cricket. They are gently, gently used. She have used them before and I'm just really really excited. And because this is more cool toned, I think it will be beautiful with the ones that I'm panning. The other shadows that I'm panning. I'm excited to be working on this and see if that hitting pan very fast is a thing or not. I will try to wear it down evenly though. I'll try to do my best not to cheat. <laughs> cheat. The other shadow that I am bringing in is also a purple one, and it is one that I have had in this project before. It is my Kiko single in number 54. And as you can see, I hit pan, and I now want to expand that pan. <laughs> I really want to be working on this again, and I know I just worked on Anarchy, and this is a little bit similar, but I thought a different formula would be great. And these two purples will work together as well as the other shadows that I am panning right now. So yes, this is my starting point for this round, this being in. Then we have the last two that I am still working on and I am semi using every single day. Today I have this one in my inner corners and it is the Essence Single Eyeshadow in Snowflake. I absolutely love this eyeshadow, it is so beautiful and intense. As an inner corner, it is absolutely perfect. So, this is where I am now. I have some good pan. I have no idea if it is expanded or not. It will take me forever, but I absolutely love it. And I think I will just keep it in the project until I don't want to work on it anymore. Which is not anytime soon. But I do have a goal to depart that because the lid broke off. The last shadow in this project is the P2 The Future Is Mine Eternal Star. Mono eyeshadow. Yes. It is called Virtually Bronze. Virtually Bronze. As you can see, I have a good size of pan in this. I'm focusing my brush right here, so maybe it is getting bigger the pan. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I am loving this shadow and I I have like three, four shimmers on my eyelid right now, but it is there. <laughs> so I am using it almost every single day. That is everything for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like. Subscribe down below if you're new here. I would love for you to hang around. Stick around. Stick around. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next one please take care. Bye.